Hello and welcome back to my channel. My name is Miranda um, and today I am going to be talking to you about a load of books that I think would make great musicals um, for literally no other reason um, apart from that I like them. I think they're good stories and I think that if the right kind of creative team was put behind it they could make amazing stage shows and I want to see it. I've made this list purely based on um, musicals that already exist and how I think that a kind of style of storytelling could be translated onto a stage based on what I've seen um, but the wonderful thing about musical theatre is people make musicals about all kinds of weird shit and it works, somehow it works and um, they always come up with new creative ideas to tell varied stories on stage. So obviously there are lots of great um, books out there that would make amazing musicals except I can't envisage how it would be done because it hasn't been done yet. So I'm kind of, um, all of my list are sort of inspired by other shows that I think would work if you made this book in the kind of style of that musical. Also all of these books are really good so even if you don't care about musicals you're about to get some amazing recommendations. You're welcome. So first up we have Nightingale Point by Luanne Goldie. Um, I read this in March I think this year and I absolutely loved it. Um, it's basically about a community living in um, a tower block in London um, and an event happens that changes their lives um, and it kind of follows the community um, as they sort of recover from this event. And what I love about this so much is the multiple perspective um, style of storytelling. I love that in um, books anyway but I think it really works for this because you get to see lots of different effects of a um, you know a traumatic event on lots of different people um, and a musical that that really reminds me of is Come From Away. So <laughs> I think you could make an incredible musical about this story um, which isn't true but it's kind of based on various like different events um, and tell it in the kind of like ensemble style of Come From Away and it would be beautiful. Come From Away is a musical um, about the people of an island called Gander um, which is just off the coast of Newfoundland um, and essentially when 9-11 happened they um, had to receive lots of airplanes um, that had been um, diverted from US airspace um, so loads of people suddenly um, descended on this tiny town and it's a really wonderful story of a kind of community coming together um, and the way that it's told is through lots of different cast members playing different characters um, and giving kind of snapshots of um, experiences and stories um, that kind of play out across the, the show and you look at the kind of um, effects of it in different stages which is exactly what this does and I think that basically if you made this into a musical you could do it in a sort of come from away style but like British and with maybe fewer characters and a kind of obviously a slightly different thing so it's not just like come from away but British but like I really think that that kind of storytelling that works so well in that situation would work really well for this book so I would love to see this as a musical. I think it'd be great. Then I think Pet by Quakey Mezzi would make an amazing show um, purely for Pet who is a scary um, creature who comes out of a painting that um, the main character Jam's mother um, makes um, and basically says to Jam um, that even though she's been told all her life that there are no monsters in her town there actually is a monster and they need to go hunt it so Pet is this kind of really just ah oh, just a terrifying character um, who exudes such a specific energy and I really want to see a like terrifying massive like puppet version of Pet on stage I think that would be amazing I just want that to happen like you the rest of the the story would work too it's great and I just want to see a wonderful terrifying pet puppet then A Burning by Megal Majumda so I think this would make a great show because it has a really propulsive plot um, 
and it has again a really kind of like community like multiple perspective um feel to it but there are three main characters that you follow basically it follows um three characters after a terrorist attack um and one of them is a girl who was wrongly accused of this terrorist attack and goes to prison um and the other two characters are people who kind of have something to gain from um this situation and who kind of knew her in various ways so i think because this story is so like propulsive and exciting and there's so much to it um i think it would be amazing to kind of see all the different paths that happen um and how different people react to this kind of situation um because it very much is about like the mass reaction to it but focused in on like mostly these three main characters and i think that there could be some amazing like group scenes but also like individual stuff i don't know i just have i have a very specific image in my head it could kind of be like a vita maybe with like the sort of like it's about the political situation and there are lots of scenes with lots of people in and the kind of like wider grievances um but then it kind of focuses in on like um the three individuals of eva um peron and what's his name other man <laughs> che obviously oh my god next i think that open water by caleb azuma nelson would make an amazing musical um this is a book that has um come out i think this year and it has got a lot of hype it's a debut author um and it's essentially about this couple um living in britain and their experiences with like love and how their relationship develops but also a lot about being black in britain um and it's a very kind of like narrow focus um and i think that what would be great in this show in well with this book is make it the last five years but better <laughs> like that's what i'm imagining um so you have the kind of like last five years set up where it's not necessarily with like the time stuff but of focusing on a couple um and their relationship and how it develops but with the kind of added layers that open water has and i think that would make an absolutely heartbreaking show like you could stage it really kind of like um minimalistically mm, the kind of intimate scenes that there are in that book i think they would translate really well onto stage and i would love to see it next the doll factory by elizabeth mcneil um this is an amazing historical fiction book about a girl who um essentially wants to become a painter and then becomes a painter but then there is a, someone who is really deeply darkly obsessed with her and it all gets a bit creepy um what i think is great about this book is the atmosphere and the vibes the vibes are immaculate and if you could translate those amazing creepy historical vibes into a musical theatre show it would be amazing like again the story in this is so emotional and propulsive and so much happens and all the characters are really interesting there are lots and lots of characters that have really strong personalities but i'm imagining like you know lots of solos and stuff kind of like les mis but a lot more kind of rich in colour and um a lot darker um and less kind of melancholy that's what i'm imagining for doll factory the musical i don't know i think it would be great next is the picture of dorian gray by oscar wilde um all i've got on my notes um for this is probably already is a shitty one that nobody's heard of but still i want it um and i have just looked up and confirmed that there are actually multiple different versions of this that people have tried to adapt over the years um and i'm now fascinated and want to go and find all of them but i want the picture of dorian gray the musical to be a thing i want it to be a big thing okay like i'm imagining sweeney todd vibes okay sweeney todd jekyll and hyde vibes you know I feel like this kind of adaptation of musical um was a kind of like 90s noughties thing where people people would take um like a classic gothic novel and turn it into a musical like there's dracula the musical there's um 
what do you call it the woman in white like there's loads of these shows that never became particularly successful all trying to like emulate the success of Sweeney Todd um and I guess Jekyll and Hyde as well because that was quite successful and yeah <laughs> um I'm not surprised that the picture of Dorian Gray got kind of caught up in it but I want a proper good version I want a fully staged West End production give it to me. I don't care if it's one of like a, a restaging of one of the adapt uh, adaptations that's already been done. I just need it. Again, imagine the vibes. The vibes! Next, City of Girls by Elizabeth Gilbert. This is like an obvious choice for me because it is um, about a girl who goes to live um, with her aunt in New York City in like the 40s I think um, and she goes and lives backstage at a theatre and like helps out making the costumes and lives backstage and meets all these fun people and does all this cool stuff and I'm like obviously <laughs> this should be a musical because you know Broadway loves backstage shows like we love shows about shows also there's a really lovely like denouement I guess you could say um where you follow the main character as she kind of grows up and then um, as this kind of story wraps up um, it's actually in like her later life so it's not just a kind of like the glamorous young life that she has it then gets really like complicated and really moving at the end and I think that would be wonderful. Also the period costumes and the period music and all of the vibes, the vibes. <laughs> Next Girl Woman Lover by Bernadine Evaristo, one of my absolute favourite books that I read last year um, I love this and lots of other people do too and um, I'm not entirely sure how I want this to be made into a musical um, but I know that I do because when I was making my um, what is it called favourite musicals that I've never seen video I realised that a lot of the books and a lot of the musicals that I like have this thing in common where they are multiple perspective kind of like slice of life ish stories where you follow different characters um just telling you about their life for a bit um and I think this is what I want from a girl woman another musical <laughs> I think I'm kind of imagining ragtime because like a lot of the characters do overlap um like I don't think you would be able to include all of the characters in girl woman another in a musical there, would, there wouldn't be enough time but I think that because a lot of the characters do overlap you could do a kind of like general pro story progression flitting between the different characters um I don't know I just I'm kind of intrigued and I think that this is one that could be done really well and really creatively and I want to see it next this is gonna sound a bit weird but stick with me I want to see Animal Farm by George Orwell as a musical okay <laughs> What I want from this is a really like satirical, surreal, really fast paced um, musical with people in talking animal costumes, um, singing songs. I want it. I don't know. I just think you could make a really cool like maybe 30 minute musical um, of Animal Farm where it is just a surreal roller coaster and you're just sat there like oh my god we have pigs singing at me about socialism it sounds amazing I don't know am I a genius am I an idiot then we're going back to the vibes Perfume by Patrick Susskind so this is another really kind of creepy dark historical novel about a man who um, has an unnaturally um, strong sense of smell um, and he kind of becomes obsessed with collecting the smells of people. So <laughs> what I want from this is again like really creepy dark historical vibes. There was a production called The Grinning Man um, that ran in London a couple of years ago and then over lockdown there was a um, YouTube kind of streaming of it and I only watched like the first half because um, I never got back to it but I was really amazed by the kind of like puppetry and just 
imagery um, and how they were telling this story through like visuals. That's the vibe I want for a perfume musical. I want like really sweeping like epic stuff but told within like a, a stage but so that you still believe it. Mm, I don't know, I can't describe it, but I think it would be great. Next is The Perks of Being a Wallflower by Stephen Chbosky. So I read this ages ago um, and I think I've seen the film as well, but I think that you could make a really great like Dear Evan Hansen-esque musical out of this because it's very much about like obviously a coming of age story, um, but it has a lot of like really emotional, dark stuff in it um, and I think that musical theatre would be an amazing way to like express that and tell that story. Shows like you know Heathers and Dear Evan Hansen and Be More Chill and stuff like that are really really popular and do really well in like the young Broadway community and are really great and tell really important stories um, in a really kind of fun accessible way. And I think that The Perks of Being a Wallflower is like an obvious draw like for that kind of audience because it's a well-known story and it's that kind of story about like coming of age and mental health and trauma and like all sorts of different things and like falling in love for the first time. Um, but also it's got like that kind of nostalgic feel for people who remember the film and who remember reading the book. I just think this is a no-brainer. Like, call me if you wanna, <laughs> if you wanna make the Bex of Being a Wolfman musical. Let's do it. Then Room by Emma Donoghue. So this is like the exact opposite of what I was describing um, when I was saying what I want with like perfume and stuff, because obviously this book is set in one room um, and it's two characters. And I think you could really convey that kind of like claustrophobia and frustration really well in a theatre. And I think it would, I think it makes perfect sense. Um, you know, like you have a black box theatre, it's your room. And because the book is narrated from a child's perspective, I think it would be so interesting to see how you kind of like translate that into like a visual um, theatre experience. And lastly, a book that I read really recently, um, Transcendent Kingdom by Yaji Asi. Um, so for this, I am imagining um, a kind of fun home style musical <laughs> where it's about like this family um, and you have different um, scenes in different points in time following the same characters. Um, but kind of showing how their relationships develop and it kind of jumps around and shows different sides of the story. This story is not told in a linear way um, and it doesn't really have like an overarching plot. So I think that that kind of um, approach where you go, you know, like from time to time would make so much sense. So I'm sort of imagining like Fun Home, The Band's Visit kind of vibes. You get me? you get me. <laughs> so that's all the books that I think would make amazing musicals. Um, I just think they would, okay? Let me know if you think I'm horribly wrong um, or if there are other ones I've completely overlooked and missed and or books that you love and that you think would make great musicals. Let me know. I hope you enjoyed this and thank you very much for watching. I will see you soon.